Florida Center on Friday morning trying to clear out some of the debris. Lots of leaves and big tree limbs. You can see this giant tree here just snapped, fortunately sparing the building. But there's a lot of cleanup. We've already started trying to clear the driveway and parking spots so that people can come through to get the services they need. You can see another giant tree limb that just snapped. Florida Center for Early Childhood on our Starfish Academy playground assessing the damage from Hurricane Ian. Um, unfortunately we've lost some of our shade coverings which are so critical in Florida so that the little ones can have their outside time and not be in the brutal sun. We, we lost another big shade that was over this play structure and uh, looks like a little picnic table didn't quite survive we've got some of our fence I just don't know if you can tell it's kind of leaning so that's going to take a little bit of repair as well and pieces of the the shade structure a little bit of fence damage and some damage on the outside. Thankfully, the Suncoast Foundation has helped us with improvements like roofs over the years, so that looks pretty intact. Um, but sadly, this is going to take some uh, major repairs or replacement. And so hopefully, if people are so inclined to make a donation to help us with this, we would definitely appreciate it. It's gonna take a lot of cleanup and structural repairs to get things back in order here. Overall, we feel pretty fortunate considering the major devastation south of us. This is just a brief overview of our Sarasota campus, so we don't know yet the status of our Northport location, and we do know some staff have lost their homes, and we just pray that they, there are no lost lives of our Florida Center family.